Let us bow our heads. Father, we come now asking that you bless us through your word. Open up the under, open up the, the words of the text and feed us with knowledge from on high. Give us strength from the text. And Lord, touch your servant, least of all, and give me the knowledge and let me down in the secret of your word that our souls may be spiritually fed today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. If you would turn with me to the book of John. <clears throat> And I want to go to verse 3. The book of Jonah, chapter 3, excuse me, it began with verse 1. find it, you may stand with me if your legs will allow for the reading of the word. I'm reading from what is known as the New King James Version of the Bible. And this is what it says. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arrive, go to Nineveh, that great city, and preach to it the message that I Tell you. So John arose and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was, was an exceedingly great city, a three day journey in extent. And John began to enter the city on the first day of war. Then he cried out and said, Yet forty days and then it shall be, uh, shall be overthrown. And I want to talk, I want to talk for just a few moments. God gives Jonah a second chance. God gives Jonah a second chance. God gives all of us a second chance. Many of us, he give us four and five chances. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. It, is, it is not God's desire that any of us should die or should perish. Amen. His desire that we, shall, that we shall live and that we should live to the full extent that God intended for us to live. The next thing is that God knows what we can take and what we cannot take. All right. He knows our thoughts before we even think them. He knows when we align and he knows when we're telling the truth. All right. He knows when we say no to him under our breath. Can I get a witness? And so many of us, God has given a second chance in life. I know, I know, I, I know I am. Because there are many times I should have been dead and gone. Because of the things that I, uh, not, not one was intentionally involved in. When I was trying to find out how fast my car would go when I was a young fool. <laughs> and I got back into town and parked the car, me and my friend, and went to the donut shop, got us some tea and donut, and uh, eating and drinking, and Went back, got in the car, cranked it up, and started to pull away from the curb. We just kept going around and around. 
kept going round and round. And I said, man, what's going on? He said, I don't know. You better check this out. Got out there, opened the hood up, the steering box. There's a U-joint that controls the, controls the steering from the box up to the wheel. It had broke. And I just got to going about 85 miles an hour alongside of a river. I started sweating like what they call a Georgia mule. <laughs> I had never been so frightened in all my life to think about what could have happened. That was God taking care of a fool. And I was convinced after that that God would take care of fools. All right, all right. That don't have sense enough to take care of himself. Right. Can I get a witness? So God gave me a second chance. He gave me an opportunity to straighten up. After that, I was actually afraid to drive the speed limit. <laughs> he make a he make a he make a believer out here real quick when you start looking at what could have happened yes, right, yes. in your life. Yes. But in our story today, Jonah is Jonah would like to prophesy to the northern kingdom of Israel. Mm -hmm. Israel was divided. Jonah was part of the northern kingdom. Jonah was a selfish man. All right. And, and Jonah, Jonah, Jonah believed that uh, only people should be saved was the Israelites. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a terrible, a terrible accusation, a terrible way to feel. Yeah. He felt that only the Israelites should be saved. Yeah. Since they was God's chosen people. All others didn't deserve to be saved. All right. And didn't deserve to get part of God's blessings. Are y'all listening to me? Yes, sir. And so, and, and so therefore, Jonah thought that, 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 that the Israelites had a monopoly on salvation. All right. No one else deserved to be saved except the Israelites because they were not Israelites they were considered as heathens Gentiles and Gentiles do, deserve, do not deserve the blessings of God the next thing that Jonah, Jonah knew for a fact brothers and sisters that God was a forgiving God. Yeah, yeah. And, and he afraid that if, if he obeyed God, uh -huh. just by chance, God may save these folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and Jonah didn't want to take that chance. Uh -huh. Can I get with this? And, and let, me, let me stop long enough to say, we can't, we can't decide who saved and who isn't saved? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Right. And Sunday school lessons here this morning, we don't, we don't determine who eats meat and who does not eat meat. All right. Yes. Uh, are y'all with me? Yes. And, and so Jonah now is, the, is determined the fact that uh, the Israelite does not deserve to be blessed by God. All right. And that's a terrible, that's a terrible, terrible feeling. That's a terrible person. Isn't that right? Yeah. And so Jonah, and God called Jonah the first time. Mm. This is it. Jonah threw a deaf ear to God. Mm. Jonah made up his mind. No, 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 no. I'm not going. Mm. You, 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 can, you can ask me, but I'm not going. Can I get a witness? And, and, and I already remember, I already remember that saying, he's so low, he's so high, he's so wide, you can't go over him, you can't go under him, you can't go around him. 
you got to come through him. Yes, sir. Can I get a witness today? Yes, sir. Yes. And so, yes. and so now, Jonah, brothers and sisters, has made up his mind that well, I'm not going down there to tell them folks God is mad at them. Because God told Jonah, their weakness have come up before me. And I'm going to destroy that city in 40 days if they don't change their way. And so Jonah decided, well, I just can't go. So Jonah, the Bible says, Jonah went to Joppa. Mm -hmm. He went to Joppa and caught a merchant ship right. going down to Tasha. And Jonah paid his fare and got on the boat and called himself running from God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, can't, you can't run from God. Can I get a witness? And, and you can't run from God. No matter where you go, he's already there. Isn't that right? He's in New York right now. He's in Baton Rouge, Louisiana right now. He's in Dallas, Texas right now. He's in Seattle, Washington right now. He's in Los Angeles, California right now. He's everywhere. He's omnipresent. He's omnipotent. On top of that, he's on the side. He knows everything. Yes, sir. He sees everything. Yes, sir. He's everywhere. Yes, sir. You can't go nowhere to escape him. All right. Can I get a witness today? Yeah. And so John, and so John decided, well, I, I think I'm gonna do my own thing. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run. And the Bible says that when John started down. His first down was he went down to Joppa. Right. His second down was he went down into the ship. Mm -hmm. He called himself going to go down in the ship, hide from God right. in the bottom of the ship. Right. Uh, Y'all listen to me. Yeah. In the bottom of the ship, God knew when he left Joppa. All right. He knew when he got on the boat. Yeah. Can I get a witness here today? Yeah. He knew when he went down in the ship. God knew everything. But now God, now God said, I, I know where he's at. Yeah. I don't have to find him. I know exactly where he's at. Yeah. And then not only that, but John called himself going to go to sleep. <laughs> well, God can deal with him while you sleep. <laughs> God can deal with you when you sleep, when you awake. Amen. He can deal with you at, at any time. He can get ready. It doesn't matter whether you awake, whether you sleep. It doesn't matter whether you're daydreaming. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. God can deal with you at any time. He gets ready. Yes. Yes. Can I get a witness here? Oh, yeah. So Jonah went on down, went to sleep. The Bible said he was fast asleep. And uh, let me use this expression that Pastor Manway said he had one of them DD sleeps. I call it one of them Manway sleeps. <laughs> he was DD sleep. And down in the boat. And God said to the wind, go down there and Whip Jonah up. He's trying to run from me. And, and the, the mariners now, experienced mariners, experienced men of the sea, have, have sailed that sea many times, knew the weather, checked the barometers for their health, knew that what course to take, knew what dangers were on the sea. Right. They knew all of that. They had the, they had the chart ready and prepared to sail a smooth sail down to Tarsha. Yes. 
Are y'all with me? Yes. Sell a smooth sale, but I don't care what kind of what what kind of plans you make. God can always change your plan. Yeah. Can I get with us? Yes. And, and let me, just let me share something with you. Uh, uh, Friday morning, I woke up, and I no Thursday morning, I woke up, and I and I bagged my car out of the garage. And there was a puddle of oil about 18 inches long and about 10 inches wide. Kind of a reddish color. And I said, I had just had the oil change last week. And I, I said, now, what's going on here? And so I backed up, up when I, well, my wife noticed it when she came out, because I had backed the car. And then I, I called a, uh, I, I, no, I carried the car, I carried the car down to the, down to the crossing place where I get the oil chain. And I said, my car's leaking oil. Uh, and I, they said, well, what kind of, I said, it looked like, uh, it's kind of reddish color. You know, only, 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 only thing that uh, has reddish color in it is transmission fluid. And so I kind of, I kind of touched it and it was, you know, it was oily, real, real greasy. And so I get down there and they put the, they said, well, we're going to have to put it up on the rack. They put it up on the rack. I mean, the thing is completely dry like a powerhouse. When I say dry, that was no grease, no dirt, no nothing under that car. Nor could you see where any oil came out of the car. And I said, I went, I went back to the house and I got in the garage and I looked around to see if I of a can or something that accidentally rolled down and I, and I hit it with the wheels and then oil popped out of there. I couldn't find no can, no nothing. Because I used to have a transmission blew way up against the north wall <laughs> on the shelf. Right. Nothing. Still haven't found out where that oil came from. Mysterious things can happen in your life. Are y'all with me? And I'm still trying to find out where the oil comes from. <laughs> <laughs> the person who waited on me said, well, maybe somebody planned a joke on you. I said, no, all the people at the house and me and my wife, but no more wife can go down there and put no oil down there. <laughs> I said, the garage is locked. <coughs> so, and, and, and besides, they have to get on the car in order to put it down. <laughs> Strange things can happen. I said, Lord, if you tell me something, tell me now. Don't tell me with me. Are y'all with me? So, mysterious things can happen. And I know what them ghosts, but I don't believe in no ghosts. And I'll tell people, don't even try to show you one. Look at Jonah. Jonah down in the boat, fast asleep. I wish I had time to finish this up. Down in the boat, fast asleep. Yeah. And God sends, uh, listen to this. And, and, and God sends a wind down. Yeah. Says, just go down there and shake the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Just shake it. Right, you don't have to say it. Let, 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 let me all me. You don't have to say it. Just shake it a little bit. Yeah. And, 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 and wake them up. And, and let Jonah know that he hasn't got away. And so in the meanwhile, the mariners, uh, wind on the little ship just tossing from one side to the other. Seemed like it's going to turn over. Seemed like it's going to fill with water. They start unloading goods. Yeah. Unloading goods. Mm -hmm. Unloading goods. And, and, and the captain says, now, somebody done did something here. <laughs> Somebody done did something here. They done messed up their God. They done got their God angry with them. Right. We're going to have to find out who it is. All right, all right, all right. Can I get a witness? Yes, sir. And so, Jonah, when so the captain went down and, and, and shaking Jonah and said, Man, what you doing sleeping down here the, the way this wind is blowing and this ship is rocking? You better get up from here. Jonah. Jonah said, well, I know the problem. Mm -hmm. One thing we have to give Jonah credit for. I'm the problem. 
And you don't know, sometimes we are the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. And, and we need to ask ourselves, am I the problem? Can I get a witness? Yes, John said, if you just throw me overboard, yeah. all your trouble will be over. Uh, you have to give Jonah credit for this. Jonah, when he threw him overboard, Jonah didn't know whether he was going to live or die. Right. And Jonah decided, I'd rather die than to go down to Nineveh. Right. I'd rather these folks be saved than me to die and they try to escape my responsibility that God has put on me. Amen. Can I get a witness here? Yes. So the Bible said that they threw John overboard. Oh, yeah. 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 And, uh, and when they threw John overboard, the Bible says that God had prepared a great fish to catch John down in the ocean. Can I get a witness? Yeah. It didn't say that it was a well, yeah. nor did it say that it was a shark. Right. But it said that he had prepared a great fish. Yeah. I don't know what kind of fish it was, but I know it was prepared by God. Yeah. I do know that it was a special fish that was prepared to save Jonah. Yes. And the Bible said that when Jonah went down in, now down in the water, uh, and then it is the third time that Jonah went down, uh, went down in the deep of the sea. Yes. Jonah was, uh, <coughs> was eaten by a fish. One thing that I like about it is that the fish didn't even bite Jonah, but it swallowed him whole. Yeah. Can I get a witness? And now uh, the next chapter said that Jonah prayed down in the, down in the belly of the fish. Yeah. And said, Lord, I'm down here among seaweeds. And, and down here being talked about around the water. And God do it today. And I don't know about you, but I want God to find me not going where he has told me to do. And God do it today. And I said that God talked to Jonah. and said, now Jonah, a fish is going to come and get you out of the water. Bible said that the fish came uh, to the land uh, and followed Jonah up on dry land. Uh, and God came to Jonah uh, the second time, uh, good God Almighty, uh, and said, Jonah, uh, Nineveh is still waiting on you. Uh, uh, all right. uh, I want you to go down and tell him that for me, uh, I will destroy the city. Uh, if they don't change their ways and change their behavior. The Bible said that the king heard the voice of God and said, I want everybody to get in the same clothes. I want everybody to God Almighty to put on clothes. And I want everybody to put ashes on. I want everybody to kneel down and bow before God he said, now, I want everything, not even a mule, no cow, no horses, shall eat anything, no man shall eat anything, everybody must fast, ain't got all right. I thought to tell you today, you need to get right with God, ain't got all right. God will give you a second chance, ain't got all right. And the Bible said that the king heard the voice of God and got his and got his vision in all the time. He got all right. I don't have time to finish your rest of it, but I want you to know today that even when Jonah carried the moon down to Nineveh, Jonah still wasn't satisfied. He got all right. 